All right, and welcome everyone to our next episode of Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. Today's benchmark, 2.4, looking at complex numbers in trigonometric form. So here the benchmark asks us to uh, perform the indicated operation. Uh, the first one is multiplying uh, complex numbers, and the second one is dividing complex numbers. Now these are in trigonometric form where we have our r and our theta, very similar to a polar form. Uh, now when we are multiplying uh, due to um, foil and things like that, we end up getting uh, angle addition properties. And so uh, all we need to do is multiply the two r's, so 3 times 4. And then within the angles themselves, we're just going to add uh, the two angle measurements. So pi over 3 plus pi over 6, and then plus i sine of pi over 3 plus pi over 6. And uh, 3 times 4 is 12. Then we have uh, cosine of, now that's uh, pi over 3 or 2 pi over 6 plus another pi over 6. So 3 pi over 6, which simplifies to pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. And we can leave it like that in trigonometric form, or if we wanted to actually evaluate uh, cosine of pi over 2, which is 0, sine of pi over 2, which is 1, and then distribute in the, uh, the 12 to get 12i. We would also have that as our answer. Uh, dividing, we do pretty much uh, uh, the same thing, except instead of uh, adding the angles like we did here, we will subtract. So we have 18 divided by 3, and then cosine of 54 minus 102 plus i sine of 54 minus 102. And that gives me 6 here. And cosine of negative 48 degrees plus i sine of negative 48 degrees. Uh, now we do have a slight problem here is that uh, our angle is negative and we do want that to be a positive angle so I'm just gonna simply add 360 uh, to bring it uh, down uh, all the way around into the positive. So I have 6 cosine 312 degrees plus I sine of 312 degrees. And again, I could use my calculator to evaluate cosine of 312 and sine of 312 and multiply in the 6 to distribute to get my complex form, or I can leave it in the trigonometric form. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.